Suguru Gato is a former student of the Tokyo Metropolitan Magic Technical School, who had acquired the title of Special Grade Shaman. Throughout his life as a shaman, he was a classmate of Gojo Satoru's and Shoko Ieri's. That being said, Ghetto, Satoru, and Shoko would go on missions for the school until one mission in particular where Ghetto and Satoru escort the Star Plasma vessel, Riko Amanai. Amanai pretty much only has three days left to live a normal life until she has to play her part as a vessel. Knowing this, she is proud to be a vessel at first. Aren't you gonna get all sad because of the merger? And here I was, worried about you. Ridiculous! A simple comment from a simpleton. What? Listen up. Master Tengen is me, and I am Master Tengen. You talk about the merger and death as if they are one and the same, but you're gravely mistaken. With the merger, I will become Master Tengen, but Master Tengen will also become me. My will, heart, spirit, all will live on after merging. Are you listening? Did you change your wallpaper? It's the model, Waka Inoue. But during the three days she has left to live, her decision changes. Ever since I was born, I have been told that I'm special and different. Being special was normal for me. I've stayed away from dangerous things and survived until now. My parents died in a car crash. I don't remember it. I'm not sad or lonely anymore. That's why, with the merger, I thought I'd be okay. Leaving everyone no matter how painful it became i believed that someday the sadness and loneliness would disappear the three days she spent with satoru ghetto and kuroi reminded her of what it was like to be among others amanai didn't remember the death of her parents so she no longer thought she was sad or lonely and because of that she thought she would not be sad from leaving everyone but amanai's sadness and loneliness was still there. After the death of such an innocent girl, members of the Star Cult gather around to celebrate their victory. Master Tengen no longer has a vessel thanks to the efforts of the cult. Satoru suggests that they should kill the cultists, but Ghetto shoots down his suggestion, claiming that killing the non-shaman cultists would be meaningless. There's no meaning in doing that. As far as I can tell, there's only non-shaman cultists here. The main offenders who know our side should have run away already. Meaning? Is that really necessary? It's very important. Especially for shamans. One year later, Ghetto continued his life as a shaman, torturing himself to stay true to his ideals. I just exercised and ingested again and again. Exercised. <sighs> ingested. The taste of a cursed spirit that no one else knows. <coughs> like swallowing whole, a cloth that was used to wipe up vomit. Exercised, ingested, and for who? Ever since that day, I kept asking myself. What I saw then wasn't unusual at all. I was well aware of that ugliness. I already knew that, and I made the decision to be a shaman despite it. Society should protect the weak, and keep the strong in check. You see, Satoru, Jujutsu exists to protect non-Jujutsu users. As one who is strong, you must fulfill your obligation. This dialogue from Ghetto shows us how big his ego really is. Earlier, we see Ghetto hold himself to very high standards, and this provides context to his previous statement. There's no meaning in doing that. There's a bit of reverse psychology being put into play here. Ghetto trying to be true to himself 
and his ideology is actually making him carry out a false sense of righteousness and no longer be true to himself. Ghetto trying to be true is causing him to live a lie. Ghetto's ego causes him to hold shamans to a higher grade of value compared to a regular human being. Ghetto believes that humans are weak, and with that belief, he decides to protect regular human beings. But while believing that he should protect regular humans, he is actually putting regular humans on a pedestal because he is protecting them. Ghetto thinks he is better than regular humans because he protects them. While living life as a shaman, Ghetto begins to realize that the life of a shaman is meaningless. Ghetto and other shamans are putting the lives of regular humans above their own. And this is what causes Ghetto to realize that being a shaman is wrong. Humans create cursed spirits because they cannot control their negative emotions. And shamans come together to destroy cursed spirits. The shamans are protecting the same battery that electrocutes them, which puts the life of a shaman in a cycle of meaningless deaths because the shamans are protecting the cause of their problems. Which is why Ghetto wants to kill all regular human beings. To put it bluntly, if all of humanity were shamans, no curses would be born. Then, we should just kill all non-shamans. Ghetto-kun. That's a decent plan. Because if they are gone, cursed spirits will no longer exist. And if cursed spirits don't exist, then shamans won't have to die. If Ghetto were to continue being a shaman, then he would be a hypocrite and ultimately push away from his true feelings. Looking down on normal human beings and the death of Nanami makes Ghetto realize that shamans are dying meaningless deaths. Ghetto thinks this is meaningless because he will die for regular humans. And again, Ghetto doesn't consider a regular human life to be as valuable as the life of a shaman. In Ghetto's eyes, Nanami died a meaningless death. September 2009, Ghetto went on a mission to execute a cursed spirit causing mysterious deaths. What exactly is this? After seeing the two girls encaged, Ghetto decides to take matters into his own hands. It, it'll, it'll be fine. Hey, you guys, come outside with me for a second. Ghetto massacres the entire village. He does this because the girls were encaged. Because the girls were encaged and also beaten, they were creating cursed spirits through their negative emotions. The villagers caused this problem because these girls were shamans and the villagers thought the girls were creating cursed spirits. What do you mean? They're the cause of all this, right? Those two strange ones are using their weird powers to attack the villagers. But no, the villagers created the cursed spirits themselves because they encaged and beat the girls. This is why Ghetto kills the villagers. The villagers created cursed spirits and tortured shamans. And because Ghetto values the lives of shamans so much, this would not sit well with him. The two girls are able to grow older and escape the torment of the villagers and support Ghetto. You guys don't even know how us shamans are treated on the shitty countryside that doesn't even show up on maps. You guys can do good and evil all you want, but for us, if Ghetto Sama says so, then black is white and white is black. We believe in the world that person sees, a world where shamans no longer die meaningless deaths, a world where shamans will live and die for each other. Ghetto wants the life of shamans to no longer be stuck in the loop of shamanism. Wonderful! Truly wonderful! I am currently deeply moved! You hastily came back to save Okotsu, right? Jujutsu sorcerers trying to save one another! To the point of self-sacrifice! What respect was honor? Is Ghetto crazy or just simply misunderstood? He values the lives of shamans more than anything else because he has seen 
how cruel the world is to shamans. Ghetto was moved. Because the shamans' lives had meaning, shamans fighting for one another means that their lives are not being wasted. Ghetto fights for the world of shamans. Ghetto didn't change or become crazy because he always believed that shamans were superior to regular human beings. And while living as a shaman, he lived a lie. But now Ghetto is living true to himself. Because while living as a shaman, he was forsaking shaman life. But now, he is forsaking human life instead. But what Ghetto doesn't realize is that he is forsaking life no matter what he does. Nothing has really changed. Ghetto is just simply choosing the jujitsu world over the regular world. But his ideology is flawed because all life has value. Yuji Itadori, a regular human being who was pulled into the jujitsu world by chance, Yuji values life greatly. Yuji would even consider the life of a cursed spirit to be equal to that of a regular human being's and a shaman's. In Yuji's eyes, every single life matters. He was crying for his brother who died in front of him. I'm happy that you and I survived. I'm relieved. Even so, because of the life I took, tears were shed. That's all. Maybe if Ghetto met Yuji earlier, things would be different. But it's only a matter of time until both of their ideals clash and Ghetto realizes that all lives are equal. No matter what anyone says, I hate all the monkeys. But it's not like I detested anyone from the college. It's just that in a world like this, I can't laugh from my heart at all.